Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we are unboxing and reviewing this car mount made by Craze Photo. Now this is a car mount, but not any ordinary car mount. This is one that goes into your CD player. So this is instead of like a normal traditional one that has a suction cup and you know you stick it to your windshield or you put it in your uh, vent or whatever. This one goes into your CD holder, so this is a very interesting uh, design. And uh, once again, $20, $20 on Amazon, couldn't talk there. <laughs> um, links will be in the description if you want, if you want to go pick one of these up. So uh, let's go ahead and show you around the box. So literally nothing to the box really at all, except for the label. If you want to look at that, there you go. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it, so focus the camera pop this open all right there it is um this is a user manual i assume yeah kind of it's like if you have any problems contact this email you see there there you go take the actual mount out oh there's two pieces to it okay so uh let's go and take this part out first focus the camera again Okay, so this this part right here, this is what goes into your CD holder in your car. And then this is the actual mount itself. All right, nice so far. Cool. All right, so I guess what I'll go ahead and do now is uh, go out to a car and uh, set this thing up. All right, so as you can tell, I have it all set up here. Now, uh, one thing that you might notice if you get one of these is that normally out of the box, if you don't do anything other than set it up like this, it's just gonna be very easy for this thing to fall out. So basically what you have to do is adjust this right here and it uh, basically helps hold it in. So if I tighten that up there, you can see now it's a lot more stable and it's not going anywhere. So um, let's go ahead and slip a phone in here. So this is a iPhone 6S Plus right here. That's a 6S. And it just goes right in there, and it's holding. And um, now one thing that I do want to say is that if you have, like, a really heavy phone or a really big phone or something like that, um, <laughs> holding it, like, you know, having it like this might break your CD slot or something like that. So um, you might want to be kind of careful on what kind of a phone you're using if you get one of these, because uh, I don't want your CD player to be broken so um here it is once again this is what it looks like all set up here so to adjust it to fit your phone size what you have to do is that there is a button right back here okay and you press it and it comes out like this now to put it back for example if you have a smaller phone you press in and it stays like that and then if you want to switch to you know a bigger phone press it and it comes out like that so even if I put a 6S Plus in here, it doesn't even fit uh, perfectly, basically. So if you have a bigger phone than an iPhone 6S Plus, it'll fit even better in here. Or if you have, like, for example, 6S Plus with an OtterBox case on it, it should fit perfectly fine in here. So then um, you could adjust it to size here. See there? And now it's gripping it. And that thing ain't going anywhere. Nice. And then if you, for example, have an iPhone 6S, slip it in here, you can tell it doesn't fit exactly, so you adjust it. And if you get a 6S Plus, once again, push that out, and then go like that, and it fits. So it's pretty cool that it should probably fit uh, any phone out there, pretty much, that is uh, a bigger phone. As you can tell, it fit a 6S, so that'll fit or a 6S is like the same size as an iPhone 7, 8, X, and so on. So uh, it should fit pretty much any phone that is out there. So uh, I would say the only drawbacks about this thing is that, number one, uh, I might be wrong, but I don't think uh, CDs are going to play while this is in here. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. Now, 
one thing that is for sure that I am certain about is that you ain't gonna be ejecting, you know, CDs or anything while this thing is like this because it's obviously blocking the slot, so you can't load or uh, take out CDs while that's in there, but whatever. Um, another thing is that, for example, this is a, uh, an F-150, obviously, it's an O3. Now, here, right underneath the CD slot, there is buttons, and in this case, this mount is pressing right down on those buttons. So, right now, it's pressing down on the seek button, and you basically just can't press the seek, or in this case, the tune and stuff like that button at all, because this thing is in the way. Um, so just a few little drawbacks there, and then also... Um, if you're looking into one of these, I want to say, make sure your car has a CD, uh, slot first, because a lot of cars these days are just getting rid of these, and they just have a normal radio, stuff like that, with no CD, uh, slot, so you want to make sure that your car does have one, and, um, I guess if you really just have, like, a normal phone, normal size, normal weight, stuff like that, for example, like this, and the buttons aren't right underneath the CD slot, like in this one, and you're not going to be loading a bunch of CDs in and out, you know, constantly, then I do recommend this thing. But if you're going to be using the CD slot, you know, a bunch, this might be just getting in your way and, you know, it might not be worth it. Um, anyways, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, take this thing out of here and, uh, get back with you guys with my final opinion. Alright, so overall, what do I think of this car mount? I think it's pretty good. Now, keep in mind if, uh, for example, you're not going to be using your CD slot all the time and your, uh, buttons aren't right below it. Um, for example, in my car, I don't have buttons right below the CD slot and I'm not going to ever be using the CD slot. So, for example, you know, if you're like me where I'm not going to be ever using a CD slot, stuff like that, then I recommend this because it's not going to be in your way if, you know, you're not going to ever be using a CD slot, stuff like that. So overall, uh, I do recommend this thing. Once again, if you're not using a CD slot, don't get this. Or if you are using a CD slot, don't get this because it's just going to be in your way. And uh, you're going to have to, you know, be having to take this thing out all the time if you ever want to switch CDs or press, you know, the seek button or something. And this case, you know, it was blocked by this. So, um, overall, I think this thing is pretty good. If you're looking for a uh, car mount that, you know, goes into your CD slot, I've never seen one like that. But I think it's a pretty cool concept and it seems to work pretty well. Um, once again, if you're not using a CD slot. So overall, I do recommend this thing. Uh, links will be in the, in the description if you want to go pick one of these up. Um, I guess that's it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.